Review requests at Article 63A, decision to not count the votes of the devout members declared invalid. A five-member bench headed by the Chief Justice unanimously pronounced a short verdict, PTI is separated from judicial proceedings. The Supreme Court Islamabad approved the review appeals against the decision of Article 63A and dismissed the decision not to count the votes of the devout members. According to sources, a five-member large bench headed by Chief Justice of Pakistan Qazi Faiz Issa heard Article 63A review appeal. PTI. Barrister Ali Zafar said that founder PTI Imran Khan wants to appear in personal. Chief Justice Qazi Faiz Issa said that on the first day, you raised another five objection. Today, you raised an objection. You are a senior lawyer. Barrister Ali Zafar said that a proposed constitutional package belongs to Article 63A. Hearing on Article 63A, Chief Justice rejects objection to PTI bench. Justice Jamal Khan Mandokal said that if you want to start, then start here. How and how the reference of Article 63A came from here and in what circumstances and also explain it then he intended at that time. Chief Justice cannot force a judge to sit in the bench, Supreme Court. The Chief Justice said that he should not do such political things that would lead to headlines in the newspapers. Ali Zafar said the newspapers said that the amendment was necessary by October 25. The Chief Justice said that we will bring this matter on record. Ali Zafar said that the government political parties want the constitutional amendment to come. PTI separated from judicial proceedings. The Chief Justice asked where the desire is mentioned in the Constitution. Ali Zafar said that the PTI wants to be separated from the judicial proceedings. Ali Zafar judicial assistant appointed. The Chief Justice said, it is regrettable. We wanted to hear you. Will you support as a judicial assistant? Does the Supreme Court objected to appointing Ali Zafar as a judicial assistant? On this, Supreme Court Bar President Shahzad Shakat said, we do not mind. On this, the court appointed Ali Zafar as a judicial assistant. Article 63A seems to make the movement of the movement ineffective, Chief Justice. PTI lawyer Ali Zafar said that Farooq Naik has also spoken in favor of the Constitutional Court yesterday, it is said that the term of Chief Justice Pakistan will be extended through the Constitutional Amendment. Justice Jamal said what would happen if the Chief Justice refuses to extend his term of employment. The court is allowing horse trading by verdict, tease. Barrister Ali Zafar said that the matter is a conflict of interests. You are allowing horse trading through this case. Chief Justice Qazi Faiz Issa said that keeping your words correct, your words can also fall into the category of contempt of court. This is a very loaded statement. Judicial Assistant Ali Zafar argued that the right of life in the Supreme Court has moved ahead, the principle of a fundamental right is not to rewrite the Constitution, the Constitution has the right to form a political party. It was not written that the party could also contest the elections, the courts interpreted the political parties and qualified the elections, later there was legislation in this regard but the judicial interpretation was first. Gone. The Chief Justice asked, who is the judge, saying that a member has been disgusted. The party chief has the authority to give or not give anyone to defiance, members of the assembly or political parties are not under any judge or chief justice, political parties are under their head. Justice Aminuddin Khan said who chooses the head of the parliamentary party. Ali Zafar said that MPs elect their parliamentary leader, the president had sought an opinion regarding 63A. The review could not be filed against this opinion. Related. Article 63A hearing adjourned with Justice Maneeb's non-participation. The Chief Justice said that you had also filed a petition in this case. Ali Zafar said, we had sought disqualification on the floor crossing, the court said, you can legislate on it in parliament. The Chief Justice said that the majority of judges who gave the decision of 63A wrote the word of opinion or used the word decision. Barrister Ali Zafar said it was to decide the court whether it was an opinion or a decision. The Chief Justice said that you mean that you support the revision to the extent that the word decision should be written instead. Barrister Ali Zafar told the Chief Justice that I would suggest that all the judges should sit together. The Chief Justice said that if you are advising us for free, then there is a free advice. Justice Jamal told Barrister Ali Zafar that you will consider the advice you have given. 
The Chief Justice said that there is no fight between the judges. Justice Naeem Afghan said that if the PTI wanted to stop horse trading, it could bring amendments where it was not to vote. It was written in the Constitution. At the time of voting, the court tried to use the floor in the distrust. Justice Naeem Akhtar Afghan added, Do you not think that, through this interpretation, the judges rewrote the Constitution? The amendment that was not made through Parliament through the judges, one government continued for ten days in one province, is it not enough to revise the Constitution? Justice Mazar Alam said that the judge had opened the whole case. Justice Jamal said why the question that came to the president was not sent to the parliament. Lawyer Barrister Ali Zafar said that the effects of the judiciary change with the Chief Justice. The Chief Justice said that this should not happen. Justice Naeem Afghan said, let the system become the system in our country yesterday. A lawyer in the court here said that 300 lawyers are sitting outside. Show decides, do you have to take decisions by fear of the judges, he said. He has stopped, goes here without fear we have to make our own decisions, where are you taking this system? Do we want to destroy our institutions? The Chief Justice said that someone had asked me about the extension. I said that you should guarantee me tomorrow that I will live, I may have my last breath today. Justice Jamal said that people say we have high hopes for you. Think of what will happen if 17 people fail. The Chief Justice said, I will decide my understanding and other fellow judges. There is no fighting and nothing is going inside. Talking to the media after the hearing later, Barrister Ali Zafar said, we have boycotted judicial proceedings if Imran Khan is not heard. Imran Khan has objected to the current bench. Not formed. A short decision issued, detailed decision will be released later. The court approved the Supreme Court Bar Association and other review appeals on Article 63A for hearing and dismissed the decision not to count the votes of the devout members. The Supreme Court has given a brief verdict that a detailed decision will be issued later. The verdict has been unanimously pronounced by the five judges. It may be recalled that on May 17, 2022, a five-member larger, headed by the then Chief Justice Omar Atta Bandil, ruled with a majority of 3-2 on the presidential reference to the president's interpretation of Article 63A. The judges had ruled that the vote of the defamatory members would not be counted and the parliament could legislate for their disqualification period. The five-member large bench was accompanied by Chief Justice Omar Atta Bandil, Justice Ijaz Al-Hassan, Justice Manib Akhtar, Justice Mazar Alam Mian Kel and Justice Jamal Khan Mandokal.